So we're going to have a TVT on uh, Zolnaga Caverns to start out. All right. So um, sorry about the well, sorry about everything. Uh, first of all, in getting a little bit of technical difficulties out of the way. But welcome to Wednesday Night Starcraft. It is going to be VVV versus Go It's Gosu or Go is it It's Gosu or Gosu Gaming? Uh, it's Gosu, I believe. Yeah, I, I thought so too. So yeah, it's Gosu versus VVV. It's going to be a Terran versus Terran first here in the MLG Zelnaga Caverns, a map that is no longer part of the map pool, but still in tournament play. We have a Poke Bunny spawning as the purple Terran player on the top right hand side of the map. Meanwhile, we have Rough spawning as the red Terran on the bottom left hand side of the map. Uh, what do you make of the positions and uh, do you know if we're in season six already? We are in Season 6. I just played my uh, placement match a, a few minutes before I came on. Uh, the positions, I mean, doesn't really favor either player. It's one of those maps where uh, just the two starting positions, so any sort of strategies will be viable in either starting position. I would say that uh, yeah, TVT, we've been seeing some newer builds from Ref, so it'll be interesting to see we, what he does. He's sort of been known as somebody who has basically the same builds in all the... Or, each matchup, he's got a, a few select builds, which are non-standard. But uh, I think he's been surprising us. I know we cast some of his games on Monday. So be interested to see if he brings something new for this TV tip. Yeah, definitely. We'll figure out what his style will be going for. Sending out a very early SCV scout, interestingly enough. And now going for a gas first. Meanwhile, we're going to see a 12 racks coming in from Poke Bunny. So um, differing strategies already. We'll see how this all plays out. And one of the things I was curious about... Um, you know, with patch 1.43, I had thought that it would be released with season 6. I didn't see a patch update, so perhaps Blizzard is considering changing patch 1.43. Yeah, maybe they'll uh, play test it a little bit. It'll be interesting that the patch is released sort of in the middle of the season. Uh, might change some, some matchups, especially. I know TVP, a lot of Terran players are not looking forward to the ghost changes. And I had a feeling that this might have been a proxy uh, Rax build just because of the sort of the timing of Ruff sending out that early SCV, but I guess it would have been a little bit earlier, but we saw a lot of proxy uh, proxy racks in the games that we cast the other night with the uh, the proxy Marauder play, so maybe we'll see that from one of our Terran tonight. Yeah, we'll see what's going to happen here. A Supply Depot is going down, a Marine is being trained. We haven't really seen Poke Bunny show or tip his hand just quite yet. Based upon the Supply Depot, it doesn't look like he's going to try to do any wall off here. So any sort of Hellion opening is not going to be all too successful. The Factory is already coming into play for Rough. Meanwhile, Poke Bunny should be able to set up a Factory in just a little bit of time. There you go. Just slightly behind, not too far. And we'll see what comes of this. We are going to get a Reactor Hellion opening coming in from rough meanwhile perhaps just standard old hellions coming in from poke bunny or perhaps a tech to banshees as we now see a second refinery coming into play yeah like we talked about uh, a little bit the other night tbt pretty interesting and unique matchup in the fact that lots of times tech comes very quickly and there's all these different tech routes you can go down especially if you open 111 you can go for banshees and any sort of factory build with hellions or an early drop with some marines and hellions so uh, we don't often see, you know, big macro games, especially on a, on a map like this, but very techy and very precise strategies. And if you're not scouting, if you're not defending, uh, you know, you can get caught off, off guard a little bit and quickly lose the game as we do see Ruff sending that barracks out to do some scouting. So it looks like he will be going uh, for more factory and starport based play, not using that barracks. Yeah, and we'll see what he exactly is trying to do. We can see that the starport is being built, but there is no refinery on the second um, geyser yet. So he may be perhaps be trying to go for Vikings in order to just counter any Banshees that make their way over. Um, Vikings do cause a bit of problems, but you do need detection for them. Ruff currently not calling in a mule. We'll see if he tries to save up energy or does call in one more mule. I think his timing would allow for that as Hellions are now making their way out, perhaps going to save up to four and then make a move into the field. Yeah, no wall off here for Poke Bunny. So if these Hellions are able to get up the ramp, they could do a little bit of damage. Uh, Poke Bunny is going to have to get those Marines into a, uh, a line here so they don't take more damage than they really need to. And the bunker is going to go down, but it's going to be pretty late. So with high ground sight given by this barracks, I think Ruff going to be able to poke at this front door and Poke Bunny is on the clock to try to complete this bunker in time.
Yeah, we'll see what's going to happen. You can see that the barracks is now being complete, or barracks is now providing sight up onto the high ground. The Hellions can come in, and there was a very nice hit, dealing a lot of damage across multiple Marines. But that is going to be a problem as one Hellion does go down, more attacking back and forth as the barracks taking a bit of damage. And now the Marines are inside the bunker, and Ruff is going to have a bit of problems as he's going to have to be dealing with Cloak. No, is yeah, with a Banshee, no Cloak, and now going into a Raven. Yeah, Raven giving him a little bit more control over any sort of uh, air battles that might come into play. Uh, Poke Bunny knows that he's sort of shut down this initial Hellion play, so a lot of times we see Banshees come after that. We do have a Medivac on the way, so might have a bit of a drop here with these Hellions. And Poke Bunny, nice timing there on that bunker. And Ruff really needed to focus down that SCD before it could complete the bunker. Then he could have gotten some more pot shots off on those Marines. But right now, he sort of lost his opportunity. We'll see if he's able to do anything with these Hellions he does have. Yeah, Banshee now inside the base of Ruff. Ruff in a bit of, pro in a bit of an issue there. Two kills already on that Banshee as it's now going after the refinery. Some SCVs may take some damage here. The Hellion, or the sorry, the Viking now needs to make its way all the way back as a medevac is now making its way across the map. And that Banshee is not really going to be able to uh, deal all too much damage as it's now going after some lone SCVs. In comes the Viking, and the Viking is going to actually cause a lot of problems as the Banshee only got, I believe, five or perhaps six kills at most. 300 resources lost compared to 250. Yeah, Ruff did a pretty decent job uh, dealing with that. Instead of leaving his SCVs there to be sniped, he sort of packed them all together right next to that turret. He did lose some mining because of that, but he didn't lose a lot of SCVs. Right now it is 30 to 24. Poke Bunny has a ton of SCVs on just this one base, so we'll see if he takes the opportunity to expand at any point. Looks like he is saving up some mi some minerals, perhaps for an expansion. Yes, it will go down now, and he's going to have to defend against this early drop that comes from Ruff. It looks like Ruff thought better of it, and now... Uh, Poke Bunny pushing out some Marines and tanks as well. I'm not sure if he doesn't have Siege Tech quite yet, but in about 70 game seconds he's going to have it. It's going to be tough for Ruff to defend with the army composition he has. Yeah, we'll see what's going to happen now. Ruff is dropping some Hellions inside the base. They're going to run over into the mineral line. We'll see how much damage can be dealt. Uh, the supply depots are going up, and the Hellions um, are now getting stuck back there with some nice supply depot blocking. Marines now trying to go up against the rest of those Hellions. It did force the entire attack to move back now. So that was a very, very nice play as Ruff is sitting on one base. He does have one Banshee and the Banshee may try to make a move in as well as he did reset Poke Bunny's attack, buying himself a little bit of time, but isn't going to be enough as we now see perhaps doubles, double Starport Banshee play. Yeah, Cloak about to finish her rough, in fact, and Poke Bunny only has 33 energy, and I don't believe he has any Marines at home, so this Banshee is going to make its way in in just a few seconds. It's on its way now. Cloak is about to finish, and I believe it's going to do a ton of damage to the SCV line of Poke Bunny. But back in the south of the field, we have Poke Bunny pushing out. He's got Siege Tech done. He's got three tanks here, and he's got that Raven, which we talked about, which is going to control the air. He's going to be able to throw down point defense drones, and it's going to be very tough for tough for uh and difficult for rough to defend yeah we'll see what's going to happen here auto turrets now getting destroyed as well there is one banshee in the air missile turret will get destroyed the raven now down to 18 hit points so this is going to be very difficult both sides needing to be very careful there is one banshee in this group the banshee dealing some damage back towards the marines the viking now trying to get the shot off onto the raven the raven down is still at 16 as the scv is trying to repair some damage and we'll see whether or not that raven does go down as the viking does make its way out but just a second too late yeah, and that Viking does take down the Ghost, and I believe there's another Raven coming back home for Ruff. I'm not sure where it is. No, he does. Oh, you know, another Banshee, excuse me. Uh, and if he's able to cloak that, it could might be able to defend and clean up here, but I'm not sure how fast it's going to be able to really defend. Poke Bunny right in the base of Ruff, and he's up in his grill, and Ruff doesn't really have too much to defend this with. He just has SCVs. He's just got these two starports desperately trying, trying to train up Banshees, but they can be quickly focused down by Poke Bunny. He has Marines. He's got now four tanks, and Ruff is in a lot of trouble. Yeah, Ruff is going to have to really cloak those Banshees in a hurry. We'll see how much damage is going to be had. SCVs are now trying to repair. It looks like the starport will be repaired just enough. The Banshees need a cloak. Yes, they do cloak in time, and now they're going to finish off all the Marines and all the siege tanks here, lifting off the buildings, buying some critical time. The Marines are not going to be able to deal enough damage as the siege tanks are now going after the SCVs. Who is really ahead here poke bunny sitting on 16 versus 16 but all of these siege tanks may get destroyed and this is a very strange um, 
timing in this as Poke Bunny going to lose his siege tanks as well, and both sides with very heavy casualties. Yeah, a little bit of a reset there. Both uh, players losing a ton of SCVs. 23 workers killed by Rough, 24 uh, by Poke Bunny. So Ruff actually had a Cloak Banshee go into town there in Poke Bunny's base for a while. He didn't bring it back to defend. Poke Bunny finally got out a, a Viking to take that down, I believe. Uh, but one thing needs to be mentioned is the production capabilities of Ruff were destroyed there. So even though both players lost SCVs, Poke Bunny still has a second orbital command, so he can double train SCVs, plus he has all of his production intact. So Ruff needs to do some damage in the next few minutes, or else I'm not sure he's going to be able to uh, really keep up in this one. Yeah, he's, he's in a little bit of trouble. The Raven was retrained. So uh, there is a Raven back in the base. There is a Viking now on patrol hunting for those Banshees. The Banshees, one of them dangerously low on hit points. Three rounds of attack will shoot it down, and it looks like it will come to exactly that. Ruff does cloak, but flies right oh. into a Banshee or in, into some Vikings with the Raven. And that might be a problem as Poke Bunny does have a very large army, um, well, as large of an army as you can have at this stage where both players yeah. reset. And we'll see what's going to happen as Ruff only has Banshees and he's not going to really be able to um, stop any of these Vikings. Ruff has one Banshee and two Hellions right now. Uh, he's making, desperately trying to get at missile turrets in time, so Poke Bunny is pushing across here with these three tanks, and I think the tanks and the fact that he's got three Vikings as well as that Raven, definitely going to put the dagger in uh, in the heart for Ruff, and Ruff uh, is having these missile turrets focused down quickly here by the siege tank, and I think this is going to be Ruff's last stand, and uh, he might have to GG in a moment. Yeah, I, I think uh, Poke Bunny was just uh, just too on top of his game in this, in this particular battle. Ruff um, not able to really defend against this. You can see the Marines and Siege Tanks are simply able to walk inside the space. The Banshee needs to make its way back out. SCVs trying to do a last stand. We'll see if it's enough. Um, SCVs going after the Siege Tank. SCVs now going... No, not going to continue to this battle as we now see one Banshee in the, in the air, but Cloak is down Yeah. in time. But still, the Siege Tanks can sit here and slowly push their way in. The auto turrets being used very effectively. Um, we'll see what Poke Bunny is going to do here. There's four siege tanks, three Vikings. Um, all the Vikings are low on hit points, but nothing to really challenge them at this stage. And nothing to really push back out. And I think um, pretty much uh, Poke Bunny has this game. Everything is looking very, very good for him. SCV needs to repair that Banshee. Siege tanks in position. And there's not much for rough to do except for make some snide comment yeah the, yeah these uh these ravens for poke bunny really being very uh, beneficial to him is uh, rough was able to clean up a few of those attacks with the cloak banshees but having that raven out giving him detection and having those vikings uh definitely makes it so that banshees aren't so hot for defense and Ruff's production was just destroyed there in that uh that little bit of an exchange and poke bunnies wasn't so he came out ahead yeah, I, I think it was really the fact that Poke Bunny had that second orbital command. Both players were reset, so you were thinking, okay, well, maybe Ruff could be able to get back in. But then, as you clearly pointed out, that second orbital can orbital command, the additional mule, and just being able to double train SCVs, Poke Bunny didn't lose any of his production buildings, able to reestablish his economy, and you you saw how much damage it, it was truly dealt. Yeah, I mean, TT 